Hey everyone. One of the very first questions that I always get asked is how we managed to fit our family of five inside the HQ21, but it's actually bigger on the interior than it seems, I think. So I'm going to show you guys around and show you exactly what our sleeping arrangements are because honestly, we are able to turn this rugged outdoor trailer into like a luxury mansion on wheels is what it feels like to us. So let's look around. And I definitely do want to preface this video by saying as new RV owners and still kind of dipping our toes into the water of family travel in the RV, we by no means are experts and we still are trying to get out those feeling cooped up jitters when the entire family is in the RV. And I'm excited because we're gonna go on our first out of town trip. We're gonna get them out for spring break. So I'm really excited about that. And I'll have a little bit more insight then, especially because now the weather is warmer. This is the first time the weather has been warm since we've gotten this trailer. Because when it's cold outside or raining, that makes the whole cooped up feeling uh, a lot more apparent. So I think things are definitely going to be a lot different on this next trip. And I'm so, so excited. Okay, so on this side, we have the dinette which obviously is plenty of room for all of us to fit at the table but i do have one little hack i want to show you guys that's five dollars and not only does this trick that i'm about to show you it's like a space saver because it's storage but it also creates an extra seat at the table and then we also use it when i convert the dinette so let me show you what i'm talking about so I got this handy dandy little, I don't know what it looks like in the video, kind of like a cushion. I got this from Five Below and there are multiple reasons why I love this thing. First of all, it's an ottoman that you can sit on, you can store things in. I also use it as an ironing board if I need to iron anything in here. Um, I can use it as extra padding over on the sides for the bed that I was talking about and I'll also show you how we use it on the dinette. But let me just open this thing up for you so you can see. Hopefully you can see like how thin it is and easy to store. It fits perfectly in this closet right here. So if I wanted to put it away, I can just throw it right in there and close the door and be done with it. So here we have the ottoman and all I need to do, take off the top. Here's the basket, open it up, put this piece inside. Now anything that I want to store in here, I can. So for example, toys in there or blankets or whatever we need for this trip, I can put it in there and then put the top on and we are good to go. I also want to show you what I mean when I say it's an extra seat. So when we have this set up, this is very sturdy. So this can be somewhere that the kids can sit at the table right here. The other thing I use it for is I'll push it in right there. So that way when my three-year-old is sitting at the table, it just helps him move a little bit closer without falling between the cracks, if that makes sense. And we are going to get another one because I love these so much and I'm going to show you how I use it to extend the dinette. But I'm also going to show you something else that I use it for. And part of that is a pet peeve of mine with this trailer and kids. But this also is another solution for it. So I'll show you right now. So I do not know if you're going to be able to fully see what I'm trying to show you in this video. So I'm going to open up the door to give you a better idea. There's a step right here. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off your feet before you come in. So that is all good until my kids are getting up from the table and not paying attention or when they're going to leave because it's a risk for tripping. It's a risk for them to fall. I have had myself almost tripping on it before. So we've been trying to think of solutions just to keep that safe. Um, especially at night when it's a little bit darker in here. We don't want them to get out of bed and fall. So I'm going to show you how I also use that ottoman, my five below ottoman, to help with that. Like, can you see this? If they're sitting here at the table, this is where the fall is. So you walk up. Here's the up. This 
so my three-year-old is sitting here which he often does the TV's right up here if he got up or he fell down it's so easy for them to fall right here and it be just a, a fall hazard so then with the ottoman I can literally just put the top of it right here and it's not perfect but it keeps them from um, falling down it's really one of those things I didn't expect to get so much freaking use out of a five below ottoman literally a game changer and I haven't even showed you what else we use it for when it comes to the dinette the dinette is something that a lot of people want to see in action and see how we set up I had it a little bit in a prior video but I will show you it again right now so you can see how big it is and how much space the kids have to sleep So as is for my three kids, this is fine because they can either take their pillows, they have their little pillows, because they're smaller, they could lay one, two, three this way, just easily like this, or they'll lay one this side and this side. And as you can see, it's like a, it's like a full size queen bed. It's very, very comfortable. I love having this skylight open right here so you can just look up at the stars. And then we also have the TV right here, so it's great for movie night to just set it up almost like a big comfy couch for us all to sit together and watch a movie. I don't always throw all the pillows around here. I feel like it blocks the door, so don't worry about them getting out of the door when they're here or people coming in, even though obviously it's very safe. And just that added, added protection, I guess. So from there, I also have this fitted sheet that kind of makes it feel all more one, it just kind of makes everything feel like more one piece. So now with this on, you can really see how it's being converted into a bed that's all kind of put together, doesn't slide around. And it's so comfortable. It's not made for this Black Series bed by any mean or for these cushions. It's not a perfect fit. It's just a hack that we do. I'm pretty sure this is just a queen size mattress pad cover with a little bit of padding. And then we have the mattress topper, the foam top. And yeah, so it just kind of pushes everything together. So then the final product would look something like this. So now, as you can see, you have a panoramic huge bed with the skylight. I wish I could do a better job at showing you how much room there is in here. I love it. Just the fact that you can move the pillows this way and the TV's right there, and all of us can be stretched out here with panoramic views. We can have the windows open, the doors open, and be watching a movie together. And that's really what this is all about and why we wanted to get this in the first place and why it's so important to us. So I know a lot of people think of bunk beds and things of that nature when they have kids, but this honestly just works for us. And my kids like sleeping together, and we can line up their sleeping bags so they have their own little cot areas as well so this is just ideal for us and it's like a king size bed when you put it all together so moving on we have plenty of storage space but I'm gonna show you my favorite hack for this as well I don't know how well you'll be able to see this but we have a nice big shower here it's got, you know, this comes up and down which is good for the kid and the dog it's got a vent a rack here but what I love about the shower is that everybody's not always showering when we pack up the trailer after a trip, we take everything that I just showed you to make the dinette bed and we put it in here. We just use this as the storage space for it and even use it as an extra closet for clothes. So I will show you exactly how we do that with another TJ Maxx or Five Below Find. I'm pretty sure I got this one to TJ Maxx. Either way, very cheap. So let me show you. So in the shower here, let me show you. When you walk in, you cannot see this 
you can't see this at all because it's over on this wall and it is just a little rack like that it sticks on with just an adhesive it does have like the set that comes with it but obviously i'm not going to screw it into the shower here obviously if you have towels you want to hang that makes it nice and easy or in my case if you have clothes that you want to hang up you can hang them in there and it makes it just a pseudo closet we have a ton of closet space but never hurts to have more especially depending on how long we're on the road and i also have a collapsible laundry basket so i can store any sheets or really anything in here in the meantime like i said we store the bedding from the dinette when we're done my mop just throw that right in here um we have a toolbox so yeah when we're not showering this is like a huge walk-in closet also this little amazon laptop desk nook it's awesome so I can put my laptop on it. It lifts up. So you can put my laptop there. Be watching a little Love Island here. And then it also has a desk drawer. So I can put all my pens in there. So we have a lot of people in here and a lot of food on the table. If we're inside eating, it's a little bit of a nice extra table for somebody. And then my next project that I am working on is this sliding door right here to convert it with a little fold down desk. So that if I wanna sit on the edge of the bed and be working here, I can just to make some room or if I wanna close the door and have a private office um, to work while the kids are here. Bathroom wise, I don't really have any hacks, but I've been finding a lot of the poopery at TJ Maxx, so that's been nice. So we just keep extra sets of everything in here. I use this as the hand towel rack, toilet paper heater. So obviously the biggest hack with having an RV and a family of five is being outside. Eat as much dinner outside, play as much outside. I mean, that's the beauty of the RV. That's what it brings to your life. That's what you get to take advantage of when you have a family. So yeah, we'll see how it goes next week.